The blockbuster movie Avatar is making 3D more popular than ever. So, how would you like to watch 3D whenever you want, right in your own home? The 2010 Consumer Electronics Show just opened in Vegas today. And our Dave Malkov is there live to show us all the goodies. Hey, Dave, we're going to have to check your uh, coat pockets before you leave. Rick, let me tell you, there are so many electronics out here that I would like to take home. So many electronics that I love, but there are all those electronics that I hate. Take the alarm clock, for example. I hate the alarm clock. It wakes you up eh, 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 every morning. That is no way to get up. This is the Philips wake up light. Now this is a new technology they're coming out with. What it does is it actually gradually this light will get from dim to bright and then when it gets bright you hear these birds chirping. It's kind of like a natural sunrise so that is the way to wake up. It's available right now between $170 and $200 depending on if you want the iPod dock or not. That is the Philips wake up light. Want to see more of the future here at CES? You gotta start with the past, huh? CES is a look into the future. It's the show that gave us the VCR in 1970, the CD player in 81, HDTV in 1998, and Blu-ray last decade. In 2010, CES brings us 3D TV. It looks like you're looking through a window at this at the Grand Canyon here. 3D TV is real and real cool. You need the glasses and a new TV to do it. Panasonic will have that available in March. Other TV manufacturers 2010 as well. So this year I can go to the store and get a 3D TV like this and watch Avatar at home. I can watch sports in 3D. Correct. Blackberries, iPods, they rule our lives, but they're really little dainty devices. You don't want to do something as simple as drop it into the water. This phone, you can do it. It's called the Sonim. Quest Pro, and look, it still works even if it takes a ride with the fishies down there. Not only is it waterproof, but it's also shockproof. The glass on the front is made out of something called Gorilla Glass. And look at how durable that is, still working. This is going to be available in a couple weeks. It's sold unlocked, which means it's not actually hooked up to any phone contract. So you're going to pay a little bit more for it, $500 out of the box. Looking for a laptop like you've never seen before. This is the Lenovo U1 Hybrid. It will be available in the middle of the year, June or July, for under $1,000. This is a full laptop. It's not a netbook. It's running Windows 7, but look at this. The screen actually pops off here and becomes a little tablet PC where you can do Facebook, you can do Twitter, you can be on the web. And then when you want it to become a full-fledged computer, you snap it right back to the hardware again and it becomes a Windows 7 PC for you. Got time for one more device here. Well, this is the Pulse digital frame from Kodak, but it's not just a regular digital frame. It actually has its own email address. So you can email your photos to grandma's frame no matter where she is, and they'll automatically pop on this device. She doesn't have to know anything about the internet. That is available in spring for under $130. Just a few of the products available here at CES 2010 as we get underway here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Dave Malkoff, back to you guys. All right, thank you so much, Dave.